All right, people, I've been looking at the open workouts for Canelo and Triple G ahead of their fight, which is in, when, a couple of weeks now? I'd heard rumors over the past few weeks that Triple G wasn't looking in particularly good shape for this camp. And I'll get onto that in a second. But as far as Canelo, he looks in great shape. He looks sharp on the pads. He looks strong up at 160 pounds, more muscled and muscular and more bulky than we've ever seen him before, but ripped at the same time. So he looks in great shape. He looks like he's in a great place, seems happy, sharp, etc. Golovkin, on the other hand, those rumors about him being a little pudgy and soft were not unfounded. I have never seen Golovkin look this soft around the midriff ever before in his professional career. Anybody who can't see it, I suggest you get your eyes tested. Golovkin is clearly softer around the midriff in these public workouts than we've ever seen him before, particularly so close to a fight. Now, why Golovkin is looking podgy like this, I'll leave you guys to debate. Has he not done something in this camp, which he normally does in previous camps? Or is it a deliberate thing that he's done here? I heard somebody suggest that maybe he's trying to come in a bit beefier for this fight because he was outweighed massively in his last fight against Danny Jacobs and he don't want to be so outweighed in this fight. Possible, I guess, but coming in beefier to me would mean putting on a, a bit of extra muscle or not dehydrating so much. The way his body looks here, that don't look like he's scientifically added a bit of extra weight or kept a bit of extra weight on in terms of muscle. That looks like fat to me. There is no advantage to having excess body fat on your torso in a boxing ring. There is no advantage. It doesn't help. It's just dead weight. It's not functional weight. So I struggle to believe that that is there by design. I struggle to believe that. Golovkin has apparently been talking about possibly retiring. I, I, I don't know really what to make of it. I'm confused as to why he looks like this so close to the fight. I'm really confused about it. Golovkin's a guy who always trains hard. This is the biggest fight of his career. You would have thought he'd come in the best shape we've ever seen him. So to come in, looking put, look, I'm sure he can still do the rounds. It's not like he's looking like a couch potato. You know, I'm not saying that he's got a big pot belly like Santa Claus. No, I'm comparing Golovkin to how he normally looks. And compared to how he normally looks, he don't look in particularly great shape aesthetically. But his body may still be functional. He may still be able to go all the necessary rounds with the necessary work rate, etc. That remains to be seen, but it's possible. But aesthetically, I'm surprised that he looks in the worst shape that I've seen him probably for his whole career. Surprising. Give me your thoughts in the comment section below. How did you think he looked on the pads? I feel he looked like his normal self on the pads, to be honest. He didn't seem much different than he ever, you know, than I've seen him before. He didn't look especially slow or anything like that. So, yeah, to me, it was the normal Golovkin on the pads. But aesthetically, he looks different than I've seen him before. And as I say, Canelo in great shape, fast, sharp, so on and so forth. So, none of this might mean much when the fight actually takes place. It might not mean anything. But it's at least worth considering if it does mean something. The fact that Golovkin doesn't look in as good a shape aesthetically as normal. Let me know how you feel in the comment section below, people. It's that man, I'm out.